Hi. As always, I'm going to brush my hair on the video, not before I do it on video. There's a dog behind me who's wanting a T I E A T, even though she had several this morning because I cleared out the drawer. But she can have one, just one, yeah. Which one would you like? That is it now. I know it's your least favourite, but sometimes in life we all we have to have our least favourite things. <sighs> I'm not meant to film a daily video right now, I actually have a lot to do. But here we go. Been to Tesco, I stupidly only had £30. So, and I wanted to go to B&M and get a lot of drinks. Somehow I managed to spend around 20 in Tesco. Don't know how I managed it, because normally on a weekend I would go in and spend 40, 45. I do have the majority of my main meal for tomorrow over there. So, tomorrow's was kind of sorted anyway. So, I will show you what I managed to pick up for, I think it was £20.68 because I had a pound coin. So, I had £31 technically. So I thought I'd have a sandwich, but because it's quarter to six, I'm not going to have a sandwich now, but I can have a sandwich tomorrow. There's also stuff here for my dad if he wants a sandwich. So instead of just getting one pack of meat, which I would do, I'd normally get the Tesco's finest meat, which is like £3 a pack. I've got two packs of the normal Tesco brand, not the Tesco price. Is it Tesco Smart Price? I think it's called. So I got... Five slices of roast beef. I think these are normally like two twenty a pack, so you do actually save a good amount. And then I got the wafer thin honey roast ham as well. So I did really well. I got my dad one bottle of beer because he's out today, so we can have this tomorrow, and it's a big one. And this is called Tisky. Oh, it's probably called Tisk. I think it's called Tisk because it's Polish, and I think. A Polish person told me, or my dad, I can't remember which one of us. And it's a 5.5, I think, yeah. So, it's a big bottle. It's cheaper than buying two bottles. So, you'll have to do with one. Then, before I picked up the ham and the, the beef, I picked my dad this up. I like the Rustler's barbecue rib, and there weren't any, and I think it was on offer, but this was also on offer. So, I picked this up for my dad. He can have this whenever he wants, basically. It doesn't go off until the 1st of April so you know I think it's like the 17th today Saturday the 17th or the 19th it's one of those so I just thought he can have that in his fridge I know they're probably crap but then this is one of the first items I picked up I picked up some Mr Kipling six carrot and walnut slices the twin packs inside so there's two in each pack and they're only 129 calories each. But then again, the fat, the saturates and the sugar are really high. But we'll ignore that. I've never tried them before. I like carrot cake. I'm not as keen as it as it I was years ago. Because I don't have the sweetest tooth now. But I thought I'd try them. Then I got some Red Mia Farms green beans. Here to go with tomorrow's meal. Which is salmon, roast potatoes. And I'm going to roast some carrots and I'm going to have them. I've already got the carrots. Then I'll show you what I've got for my tea tonight. I got these Stand and Stuff Soft Taco Kit in Smoky Barbecue. And this was on offer for £2. I walked around thinking it was 2 50 So in my head it was 2 50 So I was kind of half adding up. I mean I weren't fully adding up. But I was trying to stick to around £20 because I wanted to go to B&M. Which I also managed to do. So it was £2, weren't it? Let's check. Yeah, £2. So I got the barbecue one because when I get the fajita mix, I always get barbecue. So based on that, I did get this one. This cheese on it, I won't be putting cheese on that one. There's a tiny bit of cheese. So I just thought that was something to try as well. Then the mints I got was just the Tesco lean, British Lean Beef Steak Mints, 5% fat. I think that's 2 50 Yeah. I would have got the um, Aberdeen Angus one, but that's 4 50 And as I was on a bit of a budget, this will actually do. It's not a massive amount, but you can get cheaper. You can get, um, there's two other brands, there's the, 
the meat brand that isn't Tesco and then there's Tesco's and they were cheaper but and a lot more but this is 5% fat so obviously it's better for me then I got a Diet Coke I should have got two but I totally forgot so I love that one today I think I don't know why my voice is like this a lot lately I got two monster energy drinks one of which is about to be open because I've had next to nothing to drink today and it's like quarter to six look at my eye makeup it's not going to really show very well because of the lighting but it's the disco eye from the Charlotte Tilbury instant eye palette never used it before, I didn't use the darkest shade, I think I've gone a bit over the top for today and I got Tangy Bear Cosmetics eyebrow product on, that's when my eyebrows are more darker when I put that on I've just bought five of them because on Superdrug, all Tanya Burr stuff and I think they're getting rid of her basically all the brow ones are a pound each and it went out of stock before I knew it was reduced to a pound instead of it's either 5 99 or 6 99 because I've still got the original one that I've got I've got a backup one now I've got five more anyway it went back in stock and I bought five that's like over a year's supply there I want the mascara to go back in stock because it was normally £8 or £8.99 and it's reduced to £3.99 and I love it so if it goes back in stock, I'm going to probably get about three. It's snowing. Anyway. And then because it says to have tomatoes, I got these Tesco tomatoes on the vine. They're a pound. Normally I get the Rosemere Farm. Redmere Farm ones. We've got one in the fridge. Oh, we did have one. Oh, there's still one left. But I just thought we'll get these. My dad will have them anyway because he likes a bit. Yep. Guess who spilled a drink? I managed to not spill a huge amount because it was right next to one and it kind of caught it. That could have gone a lot worse. So I know they'll get eaten. And a pound for six tomatoes. I think... The other ones are slightly bigger, but they will do. I'm proud of how much shopping I actually got for £20. Then I got Charlotte potatoes, because when I picked them up I didn't know what I was going to get for today. But I like to roast them, I parboil them and I roast them in the oven with... A little bit of olive oil and my favourite salt which is the Cornish company sea salt I sprinkle some of that on top and they're really delicious because because they are but I've got potatoes for tomorrow so these are in stock ready for whenever that stock carrier bag complete I used the Tesco one and an M&S one because Oh, the food bank with her today, and I gave stuff to the food bank yesterday. I was going to do the same today. I was going to get a lot of shopping, so I took an additional carrier bag in, but I had £20 basically to spend there, so I couldn't do it. Um, next time they're there, I will do an absolute crap world for them. So then I got a half size of bread bit wonky I think I've squashed it we have two of these on the go once over a week old so it's basically for toast and the other ones probably get used for toast as well but because I got stuff for sandwiches this is the sandwich one how many slices do you get two four six eight ten so it works out more expensive doing that way but he's not been eating much bread lately so we've not, I've not been buying much then for the tacos I got Iceberg lettuce, which is chopped up. That was a pound. And the final item, I had to. Um, I've been eating a lot of. You've probably seen them. I've probably shown them. Kello or Kello, Kello or milk chocolate organic rice cakes, where they've got the coated. Love them. Bought a pack Friday and it's Saturday. Or was it Thursday? One of those days. But I finished it this morning because I had two for breakfast. So I picked a pack up and then I think the 149 and I looked above and saw Tesco's own version. 
for 79 and I knew I was on a budget and I wanted to keep as near to £10 as I could so my decision was to try these I may like them, I may not like them, do you get six? They don't feel as... I think you get eight in the other one, I think there's only six in here well actually there's only four so it does actually work out cheaper to get the other one yeah there's four, there's eight in the other ones they are thinner than this but not much thinner yeah, the other ones are better. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, the other ones are better. But at least I tried them. Yeah, the chocolate on the other one is much better. And the actual rice cake is better and don't fall apart when you're eating it so yeah but i got them as well okay you're not having anything else you've got food in your dish you can lick your lips as much as you want they're not horrible but i'm very fussy when it comes to chocolate because i'm not a massive chocolate fan believe it or not and they're really nice on the others like you'll bite it and it starts to melt in your mouth where this hasn't and there's only four. So two packs of that would be one fifty eight. Whereas the other ones are one forty nine for eight. Right, there we go. All that for twenty pounds. Where's the receipt? I saw it a minute ago. Uh, twenty pound seventy eight. I'm actually surprised at that. And the most expensive thing I got was the mince which was 250 why does it never say how many items I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 I have a lunch. I need my lunch. So, I've set myself a couple of food challenges to do April, May time. And I'll do videos about them on here, so I won't mention them now. Steak with rainbow chips and salsa verde. Doesn't that sound nice? And it looks nice as well. Might make that one day. Turkey pulpit. What is that? Mm -mm. Looks good then. Vegan moussaka. That looks good as well. I might make some of these for once. Seed and grain category. I won't be making that. I think it's smoked fish. So I went to B&M as well. Like I said, I tried to keep £10 and I did. Oh god, marble chocolate puddles. Oh, they look good, but I probably wouldn't eat them. Lamb and spring greens reef. Oh, that looks really good. Do you make that or do you buy it? Recipe on page 56. 
I don't think I had the patience to make that. Oh, I finished that rice cake. I thought I had some left. I'm not having another one. I'm gonna, I've got a cup, some videos to do and then I'll cook that. Um, so I'll show you in one second when I've stopped reading this. I'm being ignorant, sorry everyone. I'm just flicking through. There was, there's some nice recipes in this magazine so I'd highly recommend picking it up. Because it's free. You get vouchers in the front. Outpro, no added sugars, mango, big pot. Oh, I love mango. I might pick one of them up. And then there's a voucher. I think there's two of these vouchers in here. Um, new Sunbite Veggie Harvest. Because there's one on the page here. I just saw one. Where was it? I'm sure I just saw the voucher for it. Because it was mentioned on another page, not the one I'm just on. Yeah, the, so there's two of these vouchers. There's one there and there's one at the front. So if you like them, you can get them twice. And then the other one's 12.50 off a HyperX Cloud Stinger Gaming headset. Well, I won't be buying that. £5 off when you spend £25 or more on clothing. There we go. I want a hoodie. It's not a zip up one. That's 16 and the matching bottoms, which are 12. So that voucher's going to get used. There we go. So b and I mainly went for Perrier water. Perrier? Perrier water. I love it. So these have been reduced to 49p. Win-win, because they were 69. They're probably getting rid of them. I only got four because I was on a budget, but I did get changed, so I could have had more. So I got... As I said, four. I nearly said I got four again. I'm not drinking as many. I'm trying to get onto water as well. So I think I got one of these as well. These are good. Like if I'm rushing out the house and I don't want to take a big drink because I don't want to be like having 20,000 wees, which I'm currently having. And my doctor's like, oh, you might just have a overactive bladder. And I'm thinking, well, I'd like something for that because I'm sick of going to the toilet. I'm going to have to go on Wednesday for some up. I'm pretty sure if he was going up to 50 times a day, she would be like taking some tablets for it. So I wanted to try this one, but I doubt I like it. I picked up one of the lemon ones just to see what it's like. Knowing me, I won't like it. And then I believe I got eight of these. I'm pretty sure I got eight. Let's see. One, two, three. Four. Did anyone watch these standards last night? Five. The one where Patrick gave his money to Ted. Six. And that Robin nasty piece of work took it. Seven. I knew that was going to happen. Like, eight. Nine. Um, like, a lot of the things that happened in that episode was obvious. I knew that money was going to go missing. And I knew he was going to take it. It's so rubbish that EastEnders are like doing that to the characters because obviously Ted's going to have some kind of breakdown, isn't he? Poor Ted. <laughs> I'm not really a massive Salt fan. I don't watch Cory or Emmerdale. I do watch Neighbours and EastEnders and that's basically all I watch on TV. I've started to watch a bit of GPs behind closed doors, but... And I like Cat Pay Will Take It Away. That's like one of my favourites. And I like, which will come as no surprise, 24 hours in police custody. There was a woman on um, a DC called Sharon something. And it just reminded me of Melissa. It was like Melissa, but obviously a different person. So when I write my book, um, Melissa's character is going to be called Sharon. And Sharon rides with Karen. And Karen was Melissa's partner in being horrible to me even though Karen wasn't that horrible she was fake nice to me when she met me and I knew underneath she wasn't as nice as she made out and when I told her something basically I didn't want it to do with the case kind of thing she showed her true colours basically and that's why I started talking to Melissa because I thought at least Melissa's not too faced like Karen so all of that from B&M and this is why I could have got more coconut drinks. Came to six seventy two. 
I can't believe the coconut water is down to 49 now. I'm really happy about that. I wish I could have got more of these. But I, did, I wasn't counting how much I'd spent. But I could have got like another three of them and another three coconut waters and still I'd change from the ten. But it's okay. Anyway, I've not been uploading daily videos for a little while because my current priority is to get the bi-weeklies up. There's one been uploading since last night. It actually stopped uploading for 12 hours and I didn't realise. I think when I looked about half an hour ago, there was like 2 hours 45 left, so it's going to be 2 hours 15. So it's going to be like going half 8-ish when it's processed. I will then edit the next one and when that's saved itself, which takes about an hour and a half, that won't be starting to upload and finish uploading it tomorrow. I want to get all the footage off the computer, then get off what's on the memory card, and the memory card's getting full because I did a video which you'll have seen by now where I'm taking all the rubbish out of my wardrobe and sorting it out. I'm now going to go and film the second part of it because it's all going to go up together, but it probably separate videos. And there will be bi weekly vlogs because they're going to go up on that day, because they're not going to be additional videos, because I've got too much going up on here at the moment. Um, I'm going to sort out my drawers as well. So it's like a decluttering, so if you're into that type of video, it's 6 o'clock, let's see what video goes up for me. I normally get a notification. Am I going to get one? I hope one's gone up, because there was a bit of a mistake the other day when two didn't go up, because I left a gap for two videos, which I never uploaded. Not because they're very dodgy, I just thought, I, I kept thinking I'd go back to them and then I thought, oh, I've probably scheduled videos for that day. And I hadn't. be stupid to put them up now because they won't go up until middle of April and they won't make any sense because the other ones that go with it are going up now. So what's going up today is probably one from in the office because the one that went up yesterday was in the office. I'm pretty sure I filmed at least one more after that one at the office. So I'm going to go and get on with stuff because I've not been managing to do my to-do lists because of how I've been feeling, which you'll already know because I've mentioned it in bi weeklies I'm struggling a lot. I don't like to draw too much attention to it, but obviously if I'm not getting much done, I want to say why because this channel is about showing the reality of depression and struggling with everyday life. I don't want it to be sugar coated or to make people think it's not that bad when it, the reality is it's worse than most people who've never had it can understand. And even people who deal in mental health problems, they don't get the sort of insight into it that I'm actually giving on here at times. Like sometimes I'm giving such a big insight to it that I know there's people watching it who work in that sort of field who have like contacted me about it and they're like you know we don't normally get to see the reality even though I don't show the full reality of how I feel because I don't want every little part of me to be on here but there are videos on there from a year ago when I was like so upset and stuff because of the place um, but yeah, people don't normally get to see that, so I'll still keep it up as much as I can. But I've got to protect myself as well. But when I'm really down, I don't think, oh, protect yourself, don't say too much. I just get upset, film a video. Luckily, I'm not doing live videos at the moment because I am struggling with the whole idea of live videos. And I don't even understand why. I just am. I'm going to try and do one towards the end of this coming week or next weekend type thing or early the week after if I can if not then I don't know maybe I'll have done one by the time this goes up I'm trying it's just I get really nervous now and I don't know why because I used to come home from work every day and I think it was because I was stressed out I didn't think about it and I'd do it but now I don't work there but 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 I'm gonna go everyone and I'll do another one Wednesday. Wednesday's the busiest day ever for me. And 
I've already talked about it on here. I'm going to Devon Thursday. <laughs> I keep forgetting that I've not talked about it in bi-week because that's going to go up, like, before I go. And I want the first, like, indication that I've been to Devon to be in a bi-weekly, so I didn't want to give it away in these videos. But these videos are not going to go up till around May, and I'm hoping that the footage from Devon has started to go up by mid-April. Even if I had to, like, force it a gap in the footage I guess I will do it so I can get it up so yeah I'm going to Devon on Thursday it feels weird saying that because I thought about it a long time ago not that long ago it's like I know when I booked it was end of it was either end of January or early February because the first person I told was my doctor I was like I'm going to go to Devon I need to get away blah 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 I'll do a video about that oh, god anyway Bye everyone!